Welcome. My name is Aidaji S40, and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with this screen right over here. So simply start off by choosing your language from the drop down menu. I'll be sticking with English anyway. And from there, select start. Then uh, connect to mobile network. This is just a simple page where you can insert a SIM card. Now, to be completely honest, this page is kind of useless because you can insert that SIM card at any moment in time after the setup has been completed without any additional steps. Uh, the only reason why it's showing up here is so you can choose if you want to connect to Wi-Fi or uh, mobile network. And if you're planning to not use either of those, that's also an option. So you can basically skip this and Wi-Fi connection as well. Uh, by skipping any kind of network connection, you will lose the ability to log into your Google account throughout the setup process, which still can be changed later on after the setup has been complete. And additionally, date and time won't be set automatically what you should see right about now. Yep, there we go, date and time. So if it, assuming it's incorrect, you can fix it up. If you're planning to connect to network later on, you can simply leave it uh, at its incorrect state and it will be set automatically once you connect to any kind of network. So I'll select next right here, which brings me to Google services with location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. And the really, really brief version of this is location is a GPS tracking. Uh, scanning allows the device to look for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth signals, and so on. And then sending and user, uh, or sending user and diagnostic data to Google is just a creepy way of Google spying on you. So obviously we can deselect every one of them. That if, assuming you don't want any of them, I'm just gonna deselect the the spying software here and go down and select accept, which will take me to the next page, which will allow me to set up a fingerprint. Now right here, if you choose to select next, it will first tell you that you need to uh, set up some kind of other way of unlocking that be pin pattern or password, as you can see right here, because you cannot have just a fingerprint. Send, uh, fingerprint. Uh, assuming something happens to your finger, uh, it becomes unreadable, you would lose the access to your device. Uh, so that is why you are also forced to set up some kind of pin pattern or password. Additionally, you can also skip this if you don't want any, which skips only the fingerprint and then gives you just the option for pin pattern password, which I'll be actually setting up a pattern here, right here. And once you choose one of the options, it also asks for secure startup. Uh, I don't know if there is any kind of benefit to it. Uh, basically what it does is when the device is completely turned off and you turn it on, uh, before it boots into Android, it will stop and tell you that you need to verify your screen lock, that be pin pattern password. Once you do so, it will boot up fully, which will then be, well, you'll be back in your locked screen and you need to put that same pin pattern or password once again to actually unlock the device anyway. So it's, in my opinion, kind of useless, so I'm gonna select no. Now from here, we can draw a pattern, select next, repeat it to confirm it, and now it's set. Wireless updates, uh, in order to continue using the device, you need to, uh, that you have read. Okay, so obviously, uh, just a privacy policy, uh, you have read, come on, there we go, read. And also this one, there we go, accept and continue. Obviously the blue text there uh, would allow you to read what you're exactly agreeing to, but I don't think anybody really reads those. So anyway, as you can see, once you do that, you are presented with your home screen and the device is now fully set up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.